<laughs> Stan Urban here today, and uh, I'm working on some small cream pitchers. Uh, I first started with this little, uh, basically, uh, swollen cylinder. It's flared a little uh, out in the middle and in at the top. And I made these little spouts. Part of what I want to emphasize today is how you can make a curved spout, one that turns downward uh, on the wheel. And the first thing I would uh, I've learned to do here is to uh, make these enclosed. I'll cut them open later, but uh, by closing it off, I'm able to uh, I'm able to coax that uh, spout over my finger and um, without having it collapse. And then later, I'll cut that opening. If I threw these spouts on the hump off the hump. And so now, leaving that little ring to lift it off by, so I didn't have to actually touch the spout. So now it's time to cut that ring away. So I'm just gonna slowly make a cut through there, peel that ring off, and then I'm gonna put it back on there and cut at an angle. Uh, in other words, instead of cutting this off at that angle, I'm going to turn the needle up so that this butt end matches the edge of this um, cylinder shape. I think it'll be clearer as we go along. So I'm just going to make that cut at a slight angle. Peel that away. Then I'll put this back on. And I've got some little um, cookie cutter shapes. Most potters, I think, have these around the studio. And that's just about the, the size of the base of that spout. It doesn't have to be exact. And I want this spout to be really integrated with the form not just stuck on at the top. Uh, because part of what I want to do is to have this curve uh, kind of grow out of this uh, uh, dome shape. So I'm going to place that there. Now I could just push that in, but it might do more damage than I want. So instead of using it as a cookie cutter, I'm just going to use it as a shape that will guide my needle in order to make that cut. So now I have a butt joint that's going to meet this butt joint pretty uh, nicely. I always like to use uh, sharp knives instead of that needle to really get that edge clean. It just cuts a little better with a little bit less drag involved. Okay, so I'm going to score this edge and score this edge. Put a little slip there. Okay, now I'm going to squeeze this in just to, into a little bit of an oval so that it fits in there a little bit better. Line up the parts and then just sort of press that in. Okay, once that's done, now I, I could uh, leave this little uh, fairing sort of shape there or cut it off. I think I'll cut it off so there'll be a little uh, easier access to the interior. Once again, I'm going to use a knife. Just make that cut there. It's not a bad idea to roll up, take a little piece of that same clay that you cut off and push back into that corner because it a crack occurs that's going to happen right there where those two pieces come together and there's a little bit of moisture right there in that corner forming a little bit of a V 
and that quite easily opens out if there's any stress at all in the wall. Now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a cut in the spout, and uh, I'm gonna cut straight down just by rocking that knife back and forth. And then I'm gonna cut in under. Okay. Okay, then the final step is just to put a, um, uh, put a uh, handle on the back. Thanks for watching.